it's such a good space, such a good community, guys, full of people that are looking to achieve consistency. What's going on, guys? Welcome to this weekly gold breakdown. I did just record this, but for some reason it didn't save. Um, so I'm going to quickly go over it again. So we'll start on the monthly and we'll go down to the hour and 30 minute and 15 minute to look for opportunities today. And uh, we'll just have a general look at the direction and what we can see to potentially happen this week. So we start on monthly, guys. And uh, I also recommend you go watch the previous week's weekly analysis. Um, we've been predicting gold correct um, literally week to week, every single week since we've started doing them. And that's because we look at the higher time frame, guys, for direction. So on the monthly time frame, look, we've got this breakout here. Price broke up out of this consolidation on the monthly and um, actually retested. Retested this zone and now is continuing to the highs. Now, we predicted this as well, guys, before price had um, had broken out. And now we've gained structure above. We can now assume that price is with the bulls and that price will continue as long as we have our confirmation in there. So we predicted this to happen. If we go down to the weekly here, look, we can see uh, resistance turned into support here. We had um, a break. We had a, a retest, uh, which was here. So we came up. We had the retest on the weekly. And you can go, as I say, look at the previous analyses and look at my thought process while this was happening, uh, more of in real time instead of in, in hindsight, so you can see. And um, now you can see here, look, we've got this bullish candle here, this engulfing candle that's closed above the wicks again. So because the candle's closed above the wicks, like here, look, we assume that now price is with the bulls, and now we assume that price is continuing with the bulls. So you can see here, we had the same, we had impulse, retracement, impulse again. Retracement, I've got another impulse on the candle here. You see the candle look, it's closed above these previous wicks, um, looking like it wants to continue. So what we're looking for here, for price to continue, is we're looking for buys in this imbalance zone here, which brings us down onto the four hour time frame where we're going to start looking for areas for entries. So what we can see, guys, is prices come down. Price is currently rejecting here from um, previous support. Now, uh, sorry, from previous resistance, now acting as support. We've still got this imbalance under here, though. And what we want to see, ideally, if we look at the, the weekly, is price push down, maybe a little bit more, but just fill this imbalance here, and then we're going to look for price to continue. Now, price is just dangling um, above that, and we haven't got a lot of volume today so far. We've been bank holiday in, Monday, uh, in um, London and uh, England, sorry, and Canada. So today, I'm just watching the markets. I'm keeping a close eye. But this area is where we are looking for our reversals and continuations on gold to head back up towards those daily highs. And how we're going to look at this, guys, if we go down to the hourly now, is we had this previous um, hourly high and low here, and then we've made structure down. We're now bearish. So here is our previous one hour um, supply zone at the top. So we need this to break, ideally, to turn the hourly back bullish. And then we'd be aiming for the four hour high, which is here, this one. And then if we get through there, we'll be then aiming for the daily high, which is this next one. So these are the levels that we're looking to trade to here. But before we do this, we need confirmation. Now, we do have confirmation here on the two hour. However, without volume, I'm not really looking to jump into this unless I see something, you know, spectacular A+. plus. This isn't an A+, plus at the moment. Yes, we expect a reaction here. Yes, we've got a bit of reaction. However, we do need volume if we're going to trade the reaction. But what I prefer to see is price to fill this, for me to take this today, push down, um, reject and then come and break these previous highs, give us structure again, and then I'd be looking to trade back to this previous hourly high, break through this previous hourly high, I'd be then looking to take it up to the four hour high, and then back to the daily high. So that's what I'm looking at, guys. As I say, these are the same breakdowns we use for all of our trades week to week. We trade live with all of our all of our members. I'll show you in here, look quickly. We're live now. I did just do this live, but it got, um, as I say, it didn't save. So I just quickly do it again and mute the mic in here. So look, um, you can come in the free Discord, guys. We've got, you know, a shitload of results. We're live trading every day. We've got, you know, so many members funded. It's such a good space, such a good community, guys, full of people that are looking to achieve consistency in their trading. And this is what we've built the entire business model around. I'm not saying you're going to make millions of dollars. I'm not saying, you know, you're going to scale to the moon. You know, that's up to you if you want to do that when you become consistent. We give you the tools 
and advice and training. And we do it all live to help you become consistent because it's the one thing that everybody struggles with and everybody forgets about. And everybody tries to jump from learning to trade to skill. And then they all fail because they're forgetting the most important part is becoming consistent. Let's say we teach you how to do this every day. So I say, guys, seven day free trial as well. You can come in and get a seven day free trial. It's fucking awesome. Awesome community, awesome people. And so we trade live every single day. That's it, guys. Catch you later.